I'm Grumpy No Friends and welcome back to my Geek Stuff channel. If it's the first time you've been to the channel, thank you for joining and I hope you can find something that will help you out. So today, this is the re-upload of my remove fake virus pop-ups and how you got them video that I posted in 2023. It's a shame as I had almost a thousand eight views and just over 2000 likes on the video. YouTube has decided to remove this video because it's in violation of their policies because the video, the, because the website that I was showing you as an example, promoted content that is in violation of their policy. So the whole video is removed. They won't allow me to um, modify the video. So this is a modification of that same video re-uploaded. Here's the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my Geek Stuff channel. Today, I'm gonna cover how you got these kind of virus alerts while you were browsing the web and how to remove them without using any other kind of software that all these sites keep saying that you need to download to remove this, these things from your computer. It's a very simple process if you just want to follow me. Various websites can do this and this is how they infect your computer. What it is is when you click on various items on this, on this page, it installs cookies that call the various pop-ups to happen. So this is the site that I came to. Here is one of the pop-ups. If you click anywhere on the page, it normally takes you to another kind of pop-up. It's nothing but pop-up after pop-up after pop-up. So if you were to click on allow, then watch down here. Oh no, I'm infected with a Trojan. Now if you click on here, oh look, I'm infected with a, something else on my system. If I click again, oh no, I've got more viruses. What can I do? Oh, if I click on here, I'm going to get more malicious content. And here, if you do not get rid of the information from this screen, because by clicking on the, the pop-ups, you've allowed cookies that write information that call all these pop-ups. If we do it again, it's going to take us to try and buy McAfee. It pretends it's doing a scan. It's all complete fake. Nothing but, hey, you've got a virus, you've got Trojans. Look how I'm detecting them, finding thousands of things on your screen. Are you panicking yet? <laughs> I'm not. And you know why? Because it's all fake. How do you get rid of this? There's two ways that I would do it. Here is the manual way of doing this. You go to your three dots in Chrome. Down to your settings. Across to privacy and security. Go to cookies and other site data. Because it's a cookie is all that's causing the problem. Now if you scroll down. To where it says seal site data and permissions there is all these mcafee pop-ups these are the ones that are causing you all the problems so you could individually after a while you're going to be having a lot of this data sort of stored on here you can simply just say clear all data remove the individual cookie there'll be a reboot again afterwards and that's how simple it is to remove it from your system. I'm just going to infect it again. What I'm going to do now is add a Chrome extension where you can just simply click it. It'll clear all your browser and data history. You can configure it to do a lot more um, features as well. So it's called click and clean. I'll just add it to the Chrome extension. So 
So what I want to go through, first of all, we want to go to Options. And it's Cookies in Chrome is where we want to see. You can set your kind of geek level. Low, low restrictions, low chance of you deleting files that you wanted to save, medium or high. You can play with those and it'll unlock a few extra pieces. Some are in only beta version and they're only just trial demo things and it may or may not function properly. But cookies is where it is. If in doubt, click on the you know, magnifying glass. It's showing us all those malicious files and other sites that's popped up. You can move it into this side to to save it, but that's if you want to manually sort of view these things. I'm just going to go into the options and tell it to remove. We're going to get the warning that if you do check this box, any of the sign-in things, like you say you did Facebook and you had it automatically saved in, and it was saved in the cookie and not as in the password program then you would have to retype that information in. So there, that's only downfall of clearing your cookies. You'd have to manually sign back in again. So if we click OK, you could say run cleaner now, or simple as doing this, click on here, closes the browser, runs the cleaner. And we'll go back into the browser. We'll go check, see if it cleared that information. So everything but just the handful of um, main sites that you actually, this is initial site you visit is the ones that it's, it's kept. You can configure it to delete these as well, but that's just tweaking with the click and clean. So I hope you found this one uh, interesting. It's quick and easy and simple. You don't have to spend the money. You don't have to download any tools. And it's all because you clicked on the notification when it popped up and you said allow. What it did is it allowed it to put multiple websites that it just keeps calling as, you're, as you've got your browser open and you're gonna constantly keep getting those pop-ups. Uh, so be cautious. When you click on allowing um, permissions for notifications, if you do suddenly get the pop-ups after you allow the notifications, don't forget to go in there and clear your cookies, or you can manually go in and clear the cookies, and then make sure you don't click on the notification box again for that site. So I hope this uh, episode was helpful. I'm Grumpy No Friends. If you found this helpful, please check out my channel, GNF Geek Stuff, and consider liking and subscribing.